You're watching News 4 at 4. He calls himself Mr. 50K a day and says he can teach others to make big bucks online too. But multiple people tell the News 4 I team that after shelling out thousands and thousands of dollars to learn the secrets, the lesson they got wasn't what they paid for. How many people do you owe money to? Darcy Spencer, News 4. News 4 at 5 begins with breaking news. Right now at 5 o'clock, district police tell us the man they shot and killed yesterday tried to reach for an officer's gun. Good evening and welcome into News 4 at 5. I'm Jim Adley. And I'm Wendy Rieger. The chief just finished up a news conference and detailed how the confrontation unfolded. News 4's Pat Collins is live with an update. Pat. Wendy, D.C. police shot and killed a suspect yesterday. They say the suspect didn't have a gun or a knife. They say they shot and killed him after the man tried to grab an officer's gun. You're watching News 4 at 5. The Help Wanted sign is hanging at the U.S. Capitol Police Department. The force has seen its numbers dwindle since January 6. The chief says the need is now greater than it has been and could grow even more. News 4's Derek Ward reports tonight on what's being done to address this issue. An 1828 act of Congress established the Capitol Police Force, then just three officers strong with no authority beyond the streets immediately around the Capitol. Darcy Spencer, News 4. Breaking news now at 6. New details in a deadly police shooting in D.C. The chief describing what he saw and heard on body camera video. Blowing the whistle on Metro, employees tell News 4 they're worried about a culture that does not prioritize safety after last week's derailment and investigation that pulled more than half of Metro's fleet off the tracks. They spent thousands on online business coaching, thinking they'd be able to make big bucks, but multiple people tell the News 4i team all they got in return was a big fat loss. Consumer reporter Susan Hogan tracks down the man who they say is to blame. News 4 at 6 begins with breaking news. First tonight, D.C. police say the man they shot and killed in Southeast yesterday tried to reach for an officer's gun. Good evening, I'm Doreen Gensler. I'm Sean Yancey. The chief shared those new details during a news conference this afternoon and explained how the confrontation unfolded. News 4's Pat Collins is live tonight with an update for us. Pat. DeAndre Johnson, an assault suspect, shot and killed by police. Johnson didn't have a gun. He didn't have a knife. They say they shot him because he tried to grab an officer's gun. You're watching News 4 at 6. Today, the Montgomery County Council held a public hearing on whether to mandate the COVID vaccine for all county employees. The hearing was impassioned and at times emotional. Leon Harris is in the newsroom now with the very latest. Leon? Well, Sean, that's right. And Doreen, it was some of the most emotional speakers at this public hearing today were the police officers and local union officials there. They stress that they are not anti-vaccine, but they say that a vaccine mandate violates their rights and it could lead to staffing shortages and severely hampers their ability to collectively bargain. 